Hello friends, so welcome. In this video I'm going to work with uh, middleware because right now, so if we go and register as a new user, let's register as a test user and we can see we can create, edit and delete posts and tags. So let's go here in the dashboard. We can go to the post, create new post, edit and delete post. The same thing for the tags. But I'm going to create the middleware to protect thus the road for posts and tags. So only the user who is going to be admin is going to have the credentials to visit the posts and the tags as well. Okay, for that also we need to modify to add one more column in the database users table. So let's first I'm going to add a new column to the users table and after that let's create the middleware for the admin users. So in the terminal I'm going to say php artisan make migration and I'm going to say add is admin of the users. Hit enter and now we need to modify this ad, is admin to the users migration. So let's go inside the database migrations. Down there we have one more. Here we have schema for table users. Let's add one more field here. I'm going to say dollar sign table boolean is admin and by default this one is going to be false or you can say zero here it's up to you and down there i'm going to say when we de uh, delete or roll back the user the migrations we can say dollar sign table drop column and the name which is is admin okay let's save this let's go and run the php artisan migrate now php artisan migrate hit enter okay now if we navigate the users table we can see we have this is admin at the end and by default is zero now i'm going to check i'm going to create the middleware and i'm going to check if the users is admin is one is going to be admin if this is zero it's going to be not admin okay so in the terminal we need to say php artisan make middleware and give it the name and i'm going to name it admin middleware you can name it what you want okay now the middleware created successfully let's navigate here inside the app http middleware here is the admin middleware right now it's going to return to the next request and let's check here before we return to the next request i'm going to check if the authenticated user we have the helper authenticated user is admin so the column we added if that is true it's going to return true here is false it's going to return false now if that's okay let's return to the next request or we can add here if not is admin and let's abort with uh, code 404 so not found or you can add 403 forbidden so if i save now and we need to register this middleware inside the app http kernel php here we have the mid middlewares and down there we have the road middleware group 
let's add here we can give it the name i'm going to name it is admin and let's register that admin middleware class okay make sure you have imported that up here use app nctp middleware admin middleware okay and with that now if i go inside the roads web php here we have the posts and tags let's add here we have the middleware out so let's add here the is admin middleware the same thing for down there and let's save it now if we navigate in the browser and refresh we have forbidden because this user is not uh, admin also if i go in the tags we have forbid let's change the is admin to b1 save it and if i come here now and refresh yeah we can navigate to the posts and to the tags okay just make sure you add this is admin after the authenticated okay because if uh, I remove this now and save. Let's navigate in the post and we are uh, logged in. But if I log out and let's navigate now to the slash post, we have an error, error. Attempt to read property is admin on null. So we are going to check if this is admin is true or false, but the user is not authenticated. So we don't have the user and we check this is null so we check if is admin on null okay so make sure you add this is admin after the auth middleware or you can uh, say here first auth check So, if this is not true, because it's out check returning true or false. Now, if I save this and let's, let's remove now the out here. Go back, refresh, we have forbidden. It's no problem because we checked in the out uh, in the middleware. Now it's up to you. I'm going to remove this one because I'm going to add it after the authenticated middleware okay let's save it refresh again and we need to log in let's log in as a test user add the password log in and yeah we can go and see now let's log out and log in as a new user i'm going to create a new user here so register and i'm going to register as admin okay and we can see now we are not a uh, admin but we can see the posts and tags links also i want to hide them so let's go in the resources views layouts navigation and here we display the posts and tags so those links here and i'm going to make a check before we show the tags and posts so let's cut them and say if the blade helper if uh, blade directive if the authenticated user is admin paste that in save and if i come now here refresh we don't see that because we are not admin now if I change 
this is admin for this user or admin because we are admin here let's change that back to one save refresh now we can see the post syntax and we can navigate because we have that admin here okay friends so that's it about how we can use the middleware how we can create a custom one and protect our routes hope you understand and if you like a content like this subscribe to my channel and like the video all the best and see you in the next one friends